Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, lots of people are chatting about how exciting the OpenAI uh, chat is, and it's really good at text. <clears throat> um, highly recommended for generating your marketing materials, maybe even your contracts. I'd have to check on that. Uh, but what it doesn't do super well is, um, well, Python Turtle. I've, you might have used it in the past when you were learning how to code. And I thought I would give it a, a, a little task to see if it could draw the shape of a bird. And you can see it gave me a very nice copy code here. Note that it uh, went ahead and used most of the correct uh, nomenclature. I took this code and then I uh, put it into VS Code and I added some I added some basics here like turtle and <clears throat> date time because when I'm debugging files I like to see a timestamp blah 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 but the the code worked more or less <laughs> I'll let you decide whether or not it worked. Uh, it generated the SVG. Here it is. And so in order to view the SVG, had to uh, right click and that would generate a uh, right click and open with a live server. And here's the bird. Now SVG is cool because you can zoom in to infinity and you can see that this is, oh, maybe Picasso would call that a bird. I don't know. I'm not really quite sure what the, I think this might be the beak. I don't know. I really, I just don't know. Uh, but that's what GPT generated, uh, chat GPT. So keep this in mind. I know there's lots of chat or discussion about how awesome OpenAI chatbot is, but it's not necessarily going to solve all of your, <laughs> your bird problems. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.